Yeah, we're at Jalan Basar today. Chubby legs. We are Jonty and Millie, and along with our kids, we look for the amazing wonders of our world, living in Singapore and exploring beyond. Welcome to Wonderlust. Welcome back. We are on a third episode where we go and find a parade of shops and go and eat lots of things, try different drinks, try different cafes. We've had bakeries. There's the other episode I said, so I'll put the links there so you can go and see those and find out what's good to eat in these areas. Yeah, we're at Jalan Basar today. Behind us is a stretch of the parade, sorry, of shops that we're going to be eating at. Um, on our way here, we passed loads more parades of shops that need to have everything eaten in them. So we'll come back to this area, but what would be really helpful for us is if you let us know, if you've been to any of the ones here in this area, you let us know which ones are the best and we'll choose those parades of shops to go to. So we've got a long parade of us, of shops behind us. We're gonna make a start, I think, somewhere behind me at a cafe. Let's go. constant trickle of people coming in and out of this cafe. It's buzzing, which is really, really cool. Um, I love this place. It's awesome. It smells great. The sound is great. The staff is super, super friendly. And um, yeah, we're really pleased for this place to be the first stop on the trip. I've spotted their coffee machine. It's a Lama Zocco. There's a coffee machine that I want for my birthday, which is coming up this year. And uh, I'm hoping that um, I'll be able to get that for my birthday. And so if you uh, fancy donating towards my birthday fund, I'd appreciate it. You can PayPal us if you want to, or you can give on, uh, on, on YouTube itself. So I'd be super grateful. Celebrate with me. Thanks. So whenever we go to coffee, I often have a bit of an issue, like there's not a drink that I like, but I tried a hoji cha, which I've never had before, kind of matcha, earthy, it was really nice, I was a fan of it. So yeah, we're off to find something to eat now, and see what else we can find along this stretch. So there's all of this sort of building work that's happening here, we're not really sure what they're doing, maybe refurbing some of this building, but we just saw poking out the top, this sign that says Handmade Pow. So I think we found our next stop. Okay, yeah, great. You make them all here? Wow. What time did you have to wake up to start making these? <laughs> Six. Six, not too bad. The lady who served us just said that she's been here since 6 a.m. to make these, which isn't too bad. I thought it was going to be a four or something like that, but they are beautiful. Super moist and soft. Smells so good. No joke. There is a classic, like, um, Chelsea Power, Power flavour, but this is, for sure, the best one I've ever had. I'm going to get another one after this. But I got the Chelsea one and I got a Lotus one. Tasty, and I'm gonna go get another one. The pork meat is soft and it's absolutely beautiful. I think sometimes you get the ones, I don't know if they've been frozen or what, but the pork is maybe the way it's been cooked, the pork is kind of a little bit chewy and you get those little bits. This is just beautifully soft, the texture's amazing, the flavour's great, and the flavour between the sauce and the pork is like unbelievable. This is my second bite. Mm. When we used to come on holiday to Singapore and then we went back to the UK, this is the thing that I would miss the most. Like, I really, really love these and I used to call them clouds because they're just like nice fluffy clouds of goodness. And this one is, yeah, like Johnny said, mm. it's really good. They do drinks here as well. So you can come and have breakfast here, have your coffee. Yep, good breakfast. 
It's got red bean and lotus paste and molten salted egg yolk. Yuan Yuan Pao. And I've never had one before. Ooh. That is really nice. All the different flavours. The red bean is so nice and smooth. It's perfect. And the egg yolk in the middle is like a really nice salty saltiness to the sweet. It's really good. Yum! What I have here is a lotus one. Millie had actually semi-opened it just now because she thought it says, but look at that. Lotus paste. Lotus is one of those flavours I absolutely adore. I guess it reminds me of moon cakes and everything. This is a nice soft one. Mm. Oh, it's slightly nutty. It's got a great flavour to it. Wow. Yeah, it tastes super, super fresh. It doesn't have that powderiness that sometimes Lotus has when you um, when you try it in a paste, but this is just delicious. Yeah, I'll just give everything uh, I'm not going to share it. It's all mine. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, I really like this place. We're just reading through the menu. This is definitely a good breakfast spot, and I think if you're coming to Singapore, as a tourist, this is a good spot to come and kind of try everything, like a good local breakfast. Um, it's just a really nice spot. You can see shop houses outside, so it's kind of got a different vibe as well. And it's local. I read on the side it said it's third generation, which I really love supporting local businesses. So, yeah, I think we're good. I'm not going to let Jotty eat any more pal, and we're going to go to the next place. We have just passed a restaurant as well and it looks like some of this amazing food in there. We don't want to sit too long and just eat loads of stuff so we're going to keep going and see if there's anything else and um, we're sure there is more along this stretch. Just in time to find a little somewhere to sit down, the rain has just come down so we're going to pop in here, it looks like a barbecue sort of place. Uh, so we're here at a bit of a funny time. Milo got in at, um, after midnight from Thailand. He's been away for the week with his school. And so we all had a bit of a lie-in this morning uh, after I stayed up to, well, we, we stayed up to welcome him home, basically. Um, so it's quarter to three or 10 to three at the moment. Um, and so it's in between the lunchtime shift and the dinner shift. And so it's really nice to see the staff when we came in, they were preparing all the food. And they put the skewers out on the table that they've been getting ready for the evening dinner. And um, we've tried a few different things. We've ordered a few things that we haven't had before. Looking forward to trying some of those because, you know, we're here, we want to get make the most of everything that um, the country has to offer and the food has to offer. So we're looking forward to sharing with you in just a moment what we've ordered. Some of the barbecue skewers and a little, a little bit of something. Yeah. chicken foot wrapped in a pancake with a bit of sauce it's amazing it looks like butt cheeks yeah they got strong butt cheeks haven't they chubby legs see chubby legs we've got some scallops um, and I'm looking forward to this the smaller scallops have been barbecued Dusted with a bit of chili and a bit of seasoning, so. Mmm. Not too chewy. I was a bit worried because there's some barbecue, it's easy for it to be overdone. But it's good, the flavour's great. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. It's delicious. Um, the family's been trying the, um, the frog's legs and enjoying that too. And uh, for me, the, the, the pork knuckle has been absolutely delicious and looking forward to having that with a bit more than pancakes. What was a bit crazy is that all of this platter that we've got today is only about $35. Um, and I think I ordered up to about $35 thinking that cost-wise that we probably just had a little taste of that. So it's a pretty substantial meal. Bear in mind we've already eaten and already had drinks and still have another stop at least to go. Um, yeah, we, we've got to we keep going. <laughs> frogs and we had the nicest frogs in Cambodia. They were like the body of the frog with the head chopped off 
been stuffed with like lemongrass and rice noodles and I've still been thinking about them since we left. Like, they were just incredible. So I'm glad to try these today. I'm gonna give chicken feet another go. I, it's the bones that, I just, I just can't be bothered to spit all the little bones out. But these ones have no bones, which should be good. So I'm gonna put it boneless. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna put it in my little wrap, which is nice. I can't. Mmm. Mmm. They feel nice. Mmm. That's really nice. No, I like this. Yeah. I like this. It's really social. You can get stuck in, make wraps, have things your own way. We did ask for some of it to have no chili for the kids. These frog's legs are amazing. They're so soft, so succulent. They've got cumin on them, which is one of my favorite flavors. These are really nice rub on these. Like everything's got like a salty, sweet, almost kind of like vinegary, spicy rub. Um, it tastes amazing. There's just so many flavors going on in one bite. Um, I'm really enjoying this mini barbecue that we've got. Mm, so good. Wow, that was Chuan Chuan Le. We had never heard of the restaurant before. We just walked past it and thought it looked kind of cool, so we've gone in. Did I'm so glad we did. Millie so managed to find out what the name is all about. Yeah, Chuan the part is part of river, um, and the lady was explaining it's a particular region in China. Um, so so many different flavors in there, which yeah was just great, and it looks yeah, so unassuming. Yeah, unfamiliar flavors as well. Yeah, like delicious flavors. flavors that we haven't really had before. So it was good. I yeah, enjoyed that. We'll be back lot, here for sure, lot. and we would definitely recommend it. We're actually in the area because we've got an art jamming session um, with uh, Wildlife yeah. Reserve Singapore, and so we're going to go and do an art jamming with them. We're going to bring you guys along, and then we're going to finish off this little stretch of shops with one more place. We're going to go there. And then we're going to come back and eat some dessert to wrap it all up for us. So please hang about. And um, we think there's some good food where we're going to be heading now as well. So as if we haven't had enough already. So, <laughs> okay, we've got to walk seven minutes. Let's go. We are at XM Studios. We've been invited here with Mandai Wildlife Group. And they've created a line of loads of really awesome um, I guess like little models that you can paint. So we're here at an art jamming session. We're going to paint, and it's all about raising awareness of conservation. We love uh, Mandai Zoo and all that they do there. We've got a few vlogs about that. You can check that out as well. One of our favourite places to go. We've got membership, so it makes it super easy. So we're looking forward to finding out a little bit more about what they're doing when they're coupled with the studios um, to uh, celebrate all that they do there and conservation efforts as well. I'm quite full already and I'm actually going out for K-BBQ tonight for a friend's birthday party but I've just spotted an entire wheel of brie that's like the size of my face. It's like my favourite thing to eat ever so I should probably try a little bit right I want you guys to remember that we're part, we're like in the way, in the middle of a food tour right now. We've stopped off to do some painting and Millie's eating cheese and we still <laughs> have got more to go. But, you know, if you can do it, why not, I guess. I'm gonna be the first one to cut. This feels a bit awkward. <laughs> I'm struggling. I'm starting to wonder if it's gonna be worth it. Let's just so you guys know, Millie's pulling out this chunk that's about the size of the store that you get at Fairbanks. It's because we're gonna share. So we've just um, spent the whole day eating and we've stopped off here. How's that for you? Good. What did you get? Got some tasty food. Have you not had enough yet? No. After a brief introduction to the conservation efforts and the studio, we were given some painting tips before starting choosing our colours. I'm going to dry the lid. Yeah? Yeah. Now that I've dried it, I'm going to paint some more. While the family got painting, I was given an exclusive tour of all the amazing figurines that XM Studios specialise in. Nearly every comic book character is represented here, and I even had the chance to hold these precious collector's items. 
As I marvelled at the incredible detail, I was stunned by just how much there was DC here, and despite not being a superhero fan, I think my time appreciating all of the detail in each model transformed me into one. Before long, I was escorted to the highlight of the tour for me, the Batcave. I'm not a comics guy, but um, I did love Batman growing up as a kid and I'm just going into the Batcave, which is pretty awesome. Oh my goodness, that was, a, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun, and I was so surprised about how big the gallery was, how much they actually have in there, what they do, they run classes, the painting. Yeah, a, a great little find, I'm glad we got that. Um, so we've got our things to go, and we're gonna go and get some dessert now. Yep, so we're gonna go back to Jalan Bazaar and finish up the food tour for you and for us. Uh, so follow along. I can't remember which I'm, way I'm we're going. I'm following you, so. You're following me? Okay, we've <laughs> gotta figure out which way to go. Ah, oh, this way. I know where to go. It's all good. <laughs> We're back on Jalan Basar and we didn't really get the opportunity to see how beautiful the buildings are on the other side of the road because we were on that side of the road, you know. So now that we're on the opposite and we're walking up towards the final stop of our day, it's really, really lovely to be able to see how beautiful the buildings are around here. To be honest, there's a load of different places we could have stopped off at. There's like a hand-cut noodle place which looks delicious. There's an Indian restaurant with barbecue and grill as well, which would, I just imagine what the flavors would have been like. That would be absolutely incredible. But we didn't have the time to stop off at everything. There's another place, Takano Bistro. Wow, that looks tasty too. Um, but we didn't have enough time to check out all of those different places today. Um, so maybe we need to do a part two of this same stretch of road. It's a long stretch of road. Oh my goodness, King of Braes. That looks incredible. But like I said, we don't have enough time to stop off at all of those, so we're gonna just stop off at one last dessert stop. It used to be a 24 hour dessert place. I think it closes at about three in the morning now. Uh, we'll confirm that in a little bit. But we're gonna go and stop off and have a little something to eat to wrap up our day. It's about half past six now. So we're gonna have some dessert, get the kids back home into bed. Obviously Milo, having got back in the early hours, is very tired today. Had to stop him from walking out in the middle of the road on his own a couple of times. But we're getting there. We're nearly there. We are so glad that we're able to be here. It shuts. Jalan Basar, this store shuts in two days time and they're moving to a different area. All the details will be down below so you don't miss out. This is a great dessert place to come to. Uh, we love it. Um, we don't come often. I recently took the rest of the family here. The kids went to bed. It's a late night one that we came to here for. Um, but there's some absolute favourites here. What are you having today? Um, probably one of the, the mango popping. She has the popping bubble tea bottles in it. Amazing. And if you're a fan of jewellery and if you arrive, you can smell it already. And um, it's already decided for me that I'm going to have a jewellery dessert of some sort. I got mango pop. I've not had this one here before. I've had the durian mousse, but not the durian sago. And so I'm just gonna get into it. Um, I'm actually gonna leave the durian for a moment. Just have what's around the outside. It's like, um, almost like fish scales, the way that they've shaved the ice. And it's all white and creamy and coconutty. And there's sago in there as well, so. Oh, super refreshing. And I caught on the left side of my mouth a bit of durian as well, which I'm very, very happy about. I'm getting stuck into that now. So nice to meet you. Thank you, see you. <laughs> that was so nice, one of our subscribers was here having dessert and they came over to say hello and it just means a lot to us. Makes us really, really happy to be able to meet people um, who have joined our journey because it's a very one-way thing uh, doing YouTube channels and you guys get to watch whatever we put out there and we do our best to um, get in touch and build some sort of friendship with you over the comments but to be able to have meet someone face to face is always lovely so thank you very much and please keep saying hi. Here we go. 
so good. If you've never had durian and you kind of want to get into it, this is a great way to do it. 50 Kyongsek Road. That's where they're going to be from tomorrow or two days time. So make sure you head down. From this day, what, what day is it today? I love in Singapore that there's so many places you can just go out for dessert. Like, no matter what time it is, 6.43, there's people in there having dessert. It's open until quite late. We came here one evening and they've got chairs outside as well. So I'm not sure what the other place will be like, but um, and it's just nice to just come and hang out. It's like some tables are pushed together so you can have larger groups of people. And just coming out for dessert is just such a nice thing. And it should be more, more of a thing. So yeah, <laughs> do check out the new place. And their menu is quite large as well so there's lots of different things you can get i've got the honeydew with coconut sago shaved ice and it's so good <laughs> well that was lovely Tiangwang, which is behind us is about to close here in jalan Basar, as i mentioned earlier but do check it out where it is moving to all the details are below yeah it looks like this one's open until 2 a.m so maybe the other one will have similar timing so yeah i always wanted like we don't go out as much in the evenings, but if you're looking for something to do in the evening, then go get dessert. Yeah, for sure. We didn't realise quite how many food places there are here on Jalan Basar. We're going to label this part one. So we need you guys to help us decide where we're going to go for part two, maybe even part three, and dare I say part four, but Jalan Basar is somewhere we definitely need to return to. I think part four might be the gym. To be able to, <laughs> there's a couple of gyms down here as well. But um, yeah, to uh, know where we're going to return to. We think we've got a good idea along here where we can start and give you guys a good bit of variety, including a nice dessert place or two. Other than this one, obviously it won't be here by then, but do let us know. Yeah, let us know again comments questions recommendations we've loved having them we've had some pretty cool adventures so far if you haven't caught up maybe take some time to catch up i checked out the new park connector surprise surprise got lost yeah um, but uh <laughs> had a great time anyway so you can go and check that one out yeah yeah we are we're today. loving this food series so please do keep us informed of places you think we can go and check out across the whole country we yeah. love it we love our food we try not to overeat too much but sometimes you just can't help it but have a go yeah <laughs> thanks for watching bye, bye.